forces were acting on a tip that militants were hiding in this village, uh, where uh, in this district of Pulwama, where the suicide bombing took place last week. Um, it was during a search operation that they came under heavy gunfire that led to a clash that killed uh, nine people. Four were soldiers, three were suspected militants, and there was even a civilian who was caught in the crossfire. Um, seven security forces were also injured uh, in that operation. Uh, residents say troops destroyed five civilian houses with explosives and gasoline during the fighting. Police sources say they recovered bodies of the dead militants in the debris of uh, these houses. And, this, um, and, and the security sources have also been saying that they believe that the three militants who were killed were all Pakistani nationals and members of Jaishi Mohammed, the group that claimed Thursday's attack on the paramilitary convoy. India has blamed Pakistan for the attack. Jaishi Mohammed is based in Pakistan. But of course, Pakistan denies all involvement. India has long accused Pakistan of sheltering and even supporting militants who, um, who have crossed into Indian-controlled territory to carry out these attacks as part of a three-decade-long insurgency against Indian rule. Uh, uh, previous attempts by India to list the leader of this, uh, um, terrorist, of this militant group, uh, Masood Azhar, as a terrorist at the UN Security Council, has failed because China has, uh, has, has, has uh, vetoed any such attempts. Uh, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who's facing an election in uh, a couple of months, is under severe pressure to act uh, against uh, Pakistan. He's promised a strong response, and he's given the military a free hand, he said, uh, to tackle cross-border militancy. So it's unlikely that the situation will calm down in the next few days. We will probably see many more similar gun battle reports from Kashmir and uh, border regions in the days to come.